Hello, and thank you for watching the Forever DM. Be sure to like and subscribe for more, and hit that notification bell to see every episode as soon as it comes out. Without further ado, the Forever DM. Now that those guards are thoroughly dispatched, where's the exit? Uh, you don't see one. What do you mean I don't see one? You don't see one! Uh, which way did the guards come from? You look in the direction that you think the guards came from, and you see that there was no exit. Fine, I'll just look for like a secret door or something. Roll perception. 14. You have a feeling that there's an exit, but you just can't seem to find it. Oh, are you seriously gonna make me use some abilities? This is supposed to be a death trap. I don't think you have abilities. Well, that all depends on a few things. Oh god, you're gonna clarify your god abilities, aren't you? You bet I am! Fine, just nothing ridiculous. With my wind god powers, can I change the pressure inside of a sealed room? Yes, but not enough to make a bomb. With my earth god powers, can I create a fine layer of dust? Yes, but once again, not enough to make a bomb. You can make bombs out of dust? How did you of all people not know that? I lit a bar full of level 20s on fire with nothing more than some fine liqueur, so excuse me if I don't know anything about some dust bombs. Dust bombs are some of the best explosions you can make. Well, if that's the case, I'm definitely gonna have to write it down. But we've already decided you can't make a bomb in this room, so ha! Oh, I never had any intention of making a bomb for this room. What? Why? That's what I was expecting you to do. First mistake was expecting I was gonna do something that you could expect. What? Your second mistake was not realizing I'm very smart. All right, Einstein, you're the one stuck in the room. Not for long. I create a thin layer of dust on top of the ground. Great, now what? I scoop it up in my hand until I have a nice dust pile. Cool, you got a pile of dust. Now what? With my south wind god powers, I slowly increase the internal pressure of the room. You trying to create a weather storm in here or something? Nope. I then scatter the dust into the air. You promise you're not gonna make it explode? Yes, I promise. The dust then should slowly start floating around the room in the airborne particulates. What is this doing? Because I've created a pressure gradient between two rooms, the dust will have to flow out of the room following from high pressure to low pressure. Okay. And the only way to do that is through the room's hidden exits, unless this room is completely airtight. Holy crap, that's actually smart. <laughs> I've been known to do that on occasion. You're the worst. You quickly find the exit. I'm aware. Now what's through the secret door? You see a long spiral staircase heading upwards. <gasps> I love spiral staircases. What? Why? Nothing builds tension quite like a good spiral staircase. Oh, you, you walk up slowly. Yes, I definitely do. Every step bleeding with anticipation of the coming events. Oh, I really feel it. Every step on your journey so far has led to this point. Every step has led me here. Everything has led you to this final battle. Not quite accurate, DM. Why is that? Everything I've done so far has certainly led me to this battle. Yeah, right? But this simply isn't allowed to be the final battle. And why is that exactly? I know you're probably gonna hate this, but... I still really want that beach episode. Are you seriously still gunning for that thing? <laughs> Listen to me. Okay, you could've just asked. You didn't need to do all this. My soul, my body, my spirit will not rest until I've had my beach episode. I mean, there's no guarantee you're even gonna make it out of this fight alive. <laughs> then I'll have a beach episode in heaven or hell or whatever the hell you guys go when you die. Yeah, I guess you're really dedicated. I need this beach episode. Yeah, I get that. Tony needs this beach episode. What do I see when I get to the top of the staircase? You see Gamer God sitting on his throne with two guards beside him. Gamer God! He is silent. You kidnapped my best friend! And once upon a time, you killed him. <laughs> Tony? Not the Tony you know, but a form of him. Where's Tony the demon? When you killed me all those ages ago, did you think of what would happen to my body? Where's Tony? You care so much about that demon, but what did you care for me? Shut up! Me, 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 it's all about you, isn't it? But no, it's quite literally about Tony. You are some bastardized version of Tony. Where's Tony the demon? I am Tony the bartender's body, reincarnated as a god. Well, Tony the demon also became a god, except he wasn't a massive dick about it. You burned my business to the ground for no reason. I just so happened to be placed there for no reason as well. How does that sound? Ooh, now you're gonna get it. Oh, get what? A lukewarm whiskey sour? Bring out Tony the demon. Tony, here is your friend. Tony, what did they do to you? They seem to have plucked out my eye, sir. Get you an eye patch and you'll look cool as hell for the beach episode. Or I'd be a pirate. You would be a pirate. Silence, you two. Tony the Gamer God, now is not the time. I am in the middle of monologuing. Well, me and Tony the Demon are in the middle of sharing a very touching moment. I... Hey, Gamer God. What? Interrupt one more time. 
And I bring in a new age of the apocalypse. Interrupt my monologue one more time and I kill Tony the demon. You can't do that. Tony just got promoted to head supervisor. I can do whatever I want because I'm a gamer god. The world. I'm sorry. What did you just say to me? Oh, I keep forgetting. You never read the stat sheet. What did you just say? Oh, Zawardo. It's the command word in order to stop time with the great sword of unparalleled evil. You have a stop time ability on a great sword. Not just any great sword. A great sword that you gave me. How long does stopped time last? Two rounds. Two rounds. Two rounds. Seven pages. What do you do with your two rounds of stopped time? I calmly position myself behind Gamer God. Yep, sounds about right. And I'm gonna use my ninth level fireball spell to move the sun. You're doing that now? Towards the direction of my hand. You're doing that now? I'm then gonna axe and surge and whack him three times. With the great sword of unparalleled evil? Yeah, with the great sword of unparalleled evil. Any other bullshit I should know about? This is technically under the effects of a hold person spell. Don't all of these count as critical hits? Oh, they do. I'm gonna use Blooming Blade, follow up with a regular attack. That's gonna be 80 seven damage. Jesus Christ! And for turn two, I'm gonna hit him with another 89 damage with another booming blade. Ah! Time moves again. So Gamer God takes about 178 damage. I am grabbing him on the back of the head, by the way. And he now notices that the sun is hurtling towards Earth. Tony and I both have fire immunity, Gamer God. What do you do? If you thought the bar was bad, it was. I'd like to introduce you to the wrath of a thousand suns. That's only one sun. Well, it's coming right at you, so. This is occurring. Tony the demon looks up at you and says, Wait, Tony, not now. Wait! What? If you do this, the sun will dry up all the beaches. Yeah, then I'll just kill the ocean god at the same time. It's a win-win. Oh, she'll evaporate and fly into the stratosphere and find a new home on a new planet. So what you're saying is, if you kill Gamer God like this, there will be no beach episode. Tony the Gamer God looks thoroughly confused at this interaction. Tony the Gamer God, let me make you a proposition. And what is that? I'm sorry for what I did to you in your life. Like less like a proposition and more like an apology. I had no idea what I was doing at that bar that night. I was just an aimless vagabond on the quest for adventure. That doesn't really excuse your actions. You are nothing more than the body of the man that once was Tony. Don't remind me. Tony the Demon is what's left of your soul. Why are you taking out your vengeance quest on me against your own soul? Because I was jealous. Holy shit, that worked. I was jealous that my soul was getting to experience what I always wish I did. Eternal fire? No! Friendship. Oh. Eternal fire is a lot cooler. I don't care about world domination. Really? Because you kind of seem like a totalitarian. I just wanted someone to go to the beach with. Aww. Bring it in! But as you're about to bring him in, Tony the Gamer God stabs you. Ah! Take 20 d20 poison damage. Holy, that's a lot of dice. 210 poison damage. 210 poison? Yes, poison. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Aren't you gonna ultimate counter or something? I can't counter a move that's already landed. Vagabond goes down. Ooh. Wait, like, like down? Yeah, he's, un he's unconscious. I gotta start making death saves. Like that, huh? Yep. Like that. Take this. What is it? Tony the Demon stat sheet. You mean, play on, gamer. Tony the Demon picks up the great sword of unparalleled evil. What next? He raises the sword in a mighty stance. What next? And then he kills Vagabond! What? Right through the back of the back! You don't need to say back of the back! That is the definition of a backstab! And then there's more? I use my bonus action to combine my soul with the one currently stored in the sword! Oh my god, you stole Vagabond's soul! We combine to form Tony the Eternal! Every time! Tony the Eternal, I can rewind time six seconds. You were right. This is so much worse than the Executioner's Great Axe. Because I'm a being outside of time, I'm not affected by the rewind. What have I done? Vagabond revives. This is insane. Tony the Eternal steps in the way of the knife. Oh my god. And ultimate counters the poison dagger. I just killed you. Tony is a 20th level sorcerer. Oh no. Every ninth level spell slot I spend doubles the damage. <laughs> Eat poisoned death, Tony the Gamer God. He's so dead. He's so dead. Any last words, Tony the Gamer God? No. Then perish. <laughs>
That was the worst thing ever. Oh, contraire, that was the best day of my life. You enjoyed that? This was the most fun I've had in years. Tony the Eternal comes down and picks you up. Tony, you're even more powerful than I am now. It seems as though I am. I can't even begin to describe how good it is to have you back. There's only two things you need to say. What's that, Tony? For the fireball! For the fireball! And for our god! Damn! Beach episode! Beach episode!